Hello guys, in this video I will show you how you can mine some cryptos with this Ubuntu installation using an AMD graphics card. And for the unpatient ones you can find the necessary commands in the description as well as the timestamps so you can skip any part of the video. If you have an AMD graphics card and you are using Ubuntu then you should already have the necessary OpenGL drivers installed out of the box, but for mining we need OpenCL support and that one you will need to install manually. So you will need to go to the official AMD website and download the official AMD driver for Linux Ubuntu and that's what we will do now, so go to Firefox. So this is the official AMD website, the link will be in the description and here you can find the link to the latest AMD driver for Ubuntu 20.04, the version is 21.30. But before we download that one, some words of caution. In the past, people have reported that they had problems with the official AMD drivers, that some apps just stopped working completely or partially, and that you should not download and install that one except you really know what you're doing. But when it comes to OpenCL support at the time of recording, that one is pretty much the only option we have. And if you want to mine with this machine, then you shouldn't be doing any other stuff with it anyway. So it doesn't matter if some apps are not working. I mean, can you really trust a third party miner with your data on this machine? Maybe, but why taking the risk? Just remove all your personal data from this machine and use it just for mining. That's it. So with that said, we will download this one. And of course, there is a command line to download that one. So let's go to the terminal. I will use my cheat sheet and paste it in. Let's now wait for the download. Download is complete, let me just clear the terminal. Now let's unpack it. Let's go into the folder. And now let's go back to the AMD website. And down there you will find the link, installation instructions, open that one. And here you will find installing and uninstalling AMD GPU. And if you scroll down, here you will find the installation commands that you need to execute in order to install the driver. And also you will find the components that will be installed with each command. For mining we need OpenCL support so we can either execute this one or this one. This one as you can see will install some additional components and my advice is that if you need only OpenCL just install this one with OpenCL only and you're good to go. So we will copy this one, get over to the terminal, make the installer executable, that's it, and paste the command. Enter and install. All right, it's installed. Let's go back to documentation and here you can see it says that you should reboot the target system after the install. We will do this, but first let's scroll a bit down here to the OpenCL part and here it says you should add yourself to the render group and to the video group. So let's do this, execute that one, copy to the terminal, paste and the video group, copy, paste and execute. And there is one additional thing that I will install, it's the CL info package. That's it, now we can close everything and reboot the system. Alright, we are back, so first let's open the terminal here and write CL info. And here you should see the AMD platform and also you should see your devices. That means that you are ready for mining, so let's find some miners, let's download some Firefox. Let's try the LOL miner first, go to GitHub and find the Linux package, here it is, save. That's it, let's try another one, the Phoenix miner. There we are, download, Linux version, save, and that's it. Now let's find those files, downloads, let's unpack those, extract here. Let's try the LOL miner first. Here you need to find the LOL miner, right click on it, properties, and set permissions to be executable, it already is. And now we have some configurations here, let's say we want to mine some Ethereum, so this is the one, let's open it. This is how the configuration looks like, the pool is two miners and here is the wallet address, so you should replace this one with your wallet address, I will just use this one for demonstration and that's it, close that one, right click on it, properties, permissions, make it executable, it already is, that's okay. Now right click in the folder and open in terminal and let's start the miner, ethereum, enter. Now as you can see it has detected the graphics card, this is very good. And we are mining 27 mega hashes per second, also we can see some GPU information here like the temperature, the fan speed, so that's awesome. Let's try the other one. Here you need to find the Phoenix Miner, right click on it, properties, permissions, make it executable, 
that's right and here we have also a lot of different configurations let's find the ethereum to miners open it so this is the configuration the pool is two miners and here you can see the wallet address you can replace this one with your wallet address i will use this one just for the demonstration close it right click on the configuration properties permissions make it executable that's it now again right click in the folder open in terminal and here let's start the ethereum miner as you can see it has detected the gpu so that's good now this one is also mining we have a similar hash rate here 28 27 mega hashes per second we can also see the gpu temperature here and we are getting some coins here that's awesome and that's all for this video thank you very much for watching if you liked the video give a thumbs up please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when i release new videos and i see you in the next one bye